what good guys and welcome back to my channel in this tutorial i'll be teaching you guys how to change your images from looking like this to looking dope like this how to cartoon your images using adobe photoshop cc or any other version of photoshop you are using and before we get started my name is Eben. i'm a graphics designer and also a digital artist i teach people how to become a better graphics designer and also how to start practicing digital arts and if you're interested in learning this stuff kindly subscribe now and enable post notifications so that you'll be notified anytime i release a new video so without wasting more time let's jump right into the video so to get started with this you have to know some you have to be familiar with the adobe photoshop i made some videos about the introduction to adobe photoshop and also how to get started with the layout i will link it up in the card below and in the cover above i mean and also i'll put the link down in the description below so you can check it out when you're done with this tutorial okay so the first thing i want to do now is i want to change the image size of this picture so we want to change this resolution to 300 i want to make sure our height is below 3000 i think it's pretty cool like this the reason why i did this is to give us a better display to change the pixels of the image so by the time i zoom in and zoom out i can still see clearly but if i don't change the resolution if i just zoom in the image will pixel it and i won't be able to see the details in the i'll be able to see the details in the image very clearly okay so to move on we have to unlock this layer by just clicking the padlock button i realized there and also the first thing we need to do is that we need to create the line art the line art is going to be like a pencil drawing of the actual image we have to trace the actual image before we can proceed to any other steps we want to take so the first thing we want to do now is that you want to create a new layer come down here and select this page button and rename it to lines I like to name my layers according to what I want to make on them so it's easier to find them and you don't need to scroll through different layers before you actually find the one you're looking for. So the thing you want to do now is that I want to set this color to black and also we want to make this one white. We'll be switching from black and white for this tutorial, I mean for this step I mean. So the next thing we want to check is that our brush we select this brush in case this is the brush i use for my painting and stuff and also we want to make sure our flow for the eraser and the opacity is at 100 percent also select one add brush it depends on what you want to erase though but i like to give my i like to give my work those kind of settings make sure everything is 100 percent the flow 100 and the opacity 100 percent and then select your pen tool and then the thing you want to do now is that you want to select the image like i said earlier you want to make a line art around the image if you want to see a full guide a step by step of how i'll do make a line art i will link a related video to that up in the card book so you can watch how to create a line art and then i'm going to try to speed up some steps here because i don't want to take so much time with these videos people don't really like to watch longer videos they want to you know So when you're done with the selection, what you want to do now is that you want to, um, let me go back. You want to right click on the image, come down to a few parts, come down and select color in this drop down menu. And then you want to select a black color. And then you press OK. So you see what we have here, let me uncheck this. You see what we have here, that's what we're going to make around the image and every other um, part in this. In this picture like the eyes the lips the beards everything that's what we're gonna do so i'll i'll see you when i'm kind of done or when i have something to tell you guys again i'm gonna speed up this i'm gonna speed up this video
Okay, so we're almost done with the cartoon. Um, I mean, with the line has process now. After doing this ring, and then I'll do the ear. And I think that's all for the line arts. We have to cross check just to make sure we haven't left any stone untouched. I think that's that's all for the line art. Let me let's check. Let's uncheck it. I think we're done. Now the next thing I want to do now is that I want to open a new layer underneath the lines layer in between the line art and the image. I want to name that one skin. And what I want to do now is to come down to look for a perfect skin color. Let's go with this. Okay. So we have it here, guys. We have a skin color. Wait, actually, let me make it a little bit lighter. So, okay. I think this this is better. Yeah, I think this is better. Okay. I forgot something. Let's just make this. Okay, so we're done with that now. Next thing you want to do now is that you want to add some shadows to the cartoon. You know, as it is now, it's a plain cartoon. Let's say more of a two D cartoon. So what we want to do now is that we want to add some shadows to it to show who we are really working on. So what you want to do is a trick I do is to find the base shadows and then maybe if I want to add my own shadows to it myself. Like if I can you know this place is very deep because the light the light is bouncing on this face cap and this face cap is is casting the shadows underneath his eye. And we'll know that this place is but I don't want to I don't want to go through the stress. Once what I want to do now is that you want to duplicate this layer, you simply press Ctrl G or you can drag the layer down here and drop it. It automatically duplicates it. So what I want to do, I to do now is that I want to go to filter, down to filter gallery. I will be using one effect called poster edges. This is the right here, poster edges. And let's see what we have there. Okay, let's go with this. We're going to add the remaining shadows to it ourselves. Now, this is just this is just to give us a guide to how we're supposed to do it. So we have this here now. All we want to do now is to create a new layer. That, that layer and um, what I do first, I like to make my deepest shadow first, then I keep on progressing till I reach the highlights. So this is the um, deepest shadows. And let's get this part started. I also may have made some tutorials on how to add shadows to your cartoon in Photoshop. So if you need a fully detailed video, I'm going to link it up in the card up there. And I'm also going to drop a link for the videos down in the description below. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Okay, so what I want to do now is that I want to select few parts, come down to color, and I want to select a suitable dark tone for this cartoon. I think. 
Okay, okay, this is good. And if you are, if you see that the the color just left and good enough for what you want to do, you can still tweak it later on. You can change the 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 color since you're working it on a different layer. So it kind of makes your work easier. That's why I love to work on different layers for everything I want to do in Adobe Photoshop. You know, it works with layers. And to get a perfect job, you need to make all your works on different layers. Okay, since we're done with this, I think this is all for this layer. The next thing I want to do is to create a new layer that will be um, deeper. And then we're going to redo the same processes we did for the for these deeper shadows, but the color we'll be using the skin tone is going to be slightly different from the one for the deepest shadow. So let's jump right into this one also. So what I want to select now, I want to select a, a color, a lighter color. So slightly lighter. And we'll drag it down to be under this deepest chart. Okay, so moving on, we have to make another one again, another new layer. Um, I named that one deep. So I will, I will going to redo the processes again. Um, and that's how I make my cartoons using Photoshop. That's the simple way I use to make the shadows. Yeah, it's kind of easy to do this way. You can get the base color right, I mean the base shadow, the deepest one, if you can get it right, then you're good to So the next thing I want to do now is that I want to add some highlights to the cartoon to make to show um, where the light is actually reflecting on. Like the highlight is the lightest part in an artwork or in whatever art you're designing. So all this place should have some lights bouncing on it yeah
okay as i said i said it, the lightest part in the cartoon so definitely it's going to be lighter than always oh, i didn't create a new layer for it how could i how can i forget such an important step i light when you're working when you're working on your own image don't forget any layer don't make a mistake of working on the same layer make sure you create different layers for different objects you want to make like like this don't ever make the mistake it's a very dangerous one it's costly okay so we have this now this place to let's try and see yeah Let's use our brush to paint it. I actually changed the I changed the color of the highlights. In case you don't know when painting when painting a selected place, the paint you're trying to use with the brush, it won't exceed this the place you selected. Like if I want to paint this this selection now and I want to use let's say black. If I use the black, it won't exceed this selection, like it won't fall out to use other parts. That is the work of selection in Photoshop. It's easy to use and also get the job done. Really. See. And there we have it guys. There we have it. So moving on, we are moving on to the clothes. To the clothes. Yeah, the clothes. But first of all, let's delete this. We don't actually need this. Come down to select, modify, expand, expand it by two. And let's delete the shadow we don't need. Also on the clothes. Modify, expand, expand by two. And let's delete. okay so starting with the clothes okay let me quickly show you an example of something if you if i want to select this place and i use this, this magic one tool and the selection goes out like it falls out to this part just know that one one like a particular place is not that close for this for, for this for this tutorial we can see that this place is not close so to solve that just go back to your pen tool and move back to your nine layer and then close every open part in your nine arts okay let's see now we have it selected now you see that solves that solves it if you're facing that kind of problem that's the solution to it so let's select the oh no 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 Um, this is like, you know, should I say an army green? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't really know this color. Well, let's just let's just call it it's good, and we're going to use a similar color for it. Okay. So the next thing now is to add shadows to the clothes <laughs> we need to add shadows to the clothes also um that should be pretty simple i guess we're going to try it out together that should be let's turn up this turn up this again let's have a close look at the clothes shadow here shadow here shadow here Shadow and some okay. Let's get this shadow started. 
just CL oh, CLB paste shard that's just the short form I use come down here mm, okay this should do okay here we go again Okay, so we are done with this now. The next thing I want to do now is that I want to add the white, the face cap, and this this M is top. This T-shirt, I mean. And let me just select and select. Come down to select, modify, expand, and expand it by two, and then just create a new layer. And let's call it white. Select a gray, a grayish color. Select the same gray. And body paint. Should we? Should we go down a little? This is this is better. Create a new layer. Dark shadows. And then next thing, as you know, we're going to make the shadows. The shadows. The shadows. The next thing I want to do now is to add the, the chain and also his ring. Unless I forget, he's also putting on an earring, I, I guess. So I don't want to forget that. Every detail matters. So on a different layer, we're going to use this.
Okay. So the next thing I want to do is to just add some little shadows to it just to change it from being plain and then we're done for this carton process. That will be the end. And there we have it guys, go ahead and hit the like button, comment, subscribe, make sure you click on post notifications so that you'll be notified anytime I release a new video and also don't forget to, don't forget to drop your comments for the next video suggestion and also before I forget I have a Facebook group where I connect more with those that want to learn this, this um, digital art where I connect more with them and I give tips and tutorial and tutorials the a text tutorials. So I'll link it in the description down below. You can you can join the group there and let's let's discuss and ask me whatever questions you want to ask and I'll be sure to answer you guys. But for this for the sake of this tutorial I think we are done with the process of turning this picture right here into a cartoon okay, like i said i really enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up share this video to your friends and also stay tuned to the channel i will be uploading videos consistently on how to make your designs and your illustration using adobe photoshop and adobe illustrator so if you don't want to miss out from that offer you have to stay subscribed and i will see you guys in the next video peace